under intense pressure to act. The Department of Homeland Security now says it's deploying more agents amid the new migrant influx. Overnight, we saw an even larger group lining up to get into El Paso. It's right before dawn, and the conditions here are miserable. With the wind chill, the temperature here feels like it's below freezing. The Border Patrol is letting 10 to 15 of these migrants in at a time, but the line stretches all the way down there. Some are then released onto the streets of El Paso to fend for themselves. This couple from Nicaragua made the decision to cross now because they expected more chaos at the border next week. That's when a federal court ordered the lifting of a pandemic-era border restriction known as Title 42, which authorities now say could lead to a record 10,000 illegal border crossings a day. we never seen so many people in the conditions they are today. I mean, uh, just waiting at the river with no shelter. Ruben Garcia has helped shelter migrants in El Paso for decades. Should the Biden administration have seen this particular influx coming? Absolutely, because of the paralysis in Congress, the Senate, and the House. And the worst part of that are the politicians who use it for political gain. Tonight, both city officials and migrant advocates here are telling us this is a humanitarian crisis, and they're pleading for the federal government to take more action quickly. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.